everybody. Welcome to another episode of Burnout Brighter. This is episode 142 and it's a little special because we have brought somebody back to talk about their game because it's going on Kickstarter. Um, Daniel, I'm super excited to have you, but before I jump over to you, let me just go ahead and introduce Matt. <laughs> Way to swing that around. Hey everyone, what's up? I'm excited to talk about cute animals shooting each other because that's the way that this episode's going to go. Right. And we are going to definitely try to play it on um, one of our Saturdays because we're going to start streaming on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. The game is absolutely incredible. We played a little bit of it before when we first kind of got it out. And I, I think I lived for like five minutes, maybe no, maybe less than that. <laughs> I think I'm being very generous with myself, but um, <laughs> I really, really loved it. And we're also going to play some clip mats. I didn't tell you that, but uh, we're going to splice together some clips of some gameplay while we talk about this game because we got we want you guys to see the visuals because you're absolutely going to love it. Um, Sounds good. So, Daniel, um, I was thinking about those cookies that you told us about last time. I still haven't <laughs> tried them yet, but um, what do you say there? Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about those, but more important things. How have you been? It's been so long. Yeah, I, I mean. It's been a crazy ride, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But I'm doing super fine. Uh, I'm super glad to be back because this was my first podcast. And I hope I'm better with English now. <laughs> you were great I've the first practicing. time. You were great the first yeah. time. What are you talking about? I understand. Yeah, but I don't uh, you know. I got better. Have you been practicing? Yeah, because uh, uh, a lot has been going on. And now uh, mm -hmm. I work with Chuason as an um, in-house uh, project. So I get to work with people from all over the world and we talk in English. So. That's amazing. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah, I thanks. bet you never thought that, like when you were yeah. making the game that you would have to like get better at English. You were just mm -hmm. like, I'm just going to make this for my friends here in Spain. It's mm -hmm. fine. So, but it kind of blew up like your game yep. like it's like people are so <laughs> excited about it like i'm in your discord and it's like constantly like popping like i <laughs> don't even know what to say i just like like stuff and i'm like yeah that's great <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but i don't know if you guys have heard of daniel's game so i'm going to let him introduce the game and talk a little more about it so daniel what is the name of this fantastic game that is going to be on kickstarter starting tomorrow uh, it's a really difficult name to pronounce uh, but it is. it's axolotl and it was an arcade shooter before, uh, very arcadey, and now it's become a full-on roguelite. Oh, nice! So, yeah, and you play as a hungry axolotl in search for food or uh, violence. Maybe <laughs> both. Maybe both. Yeah. I think both are okay. If you if you want to shoot yeah. up some other cute animal, it's kill or be killed. I mean, mm -hmm. like you got to do what you got to do to survive. It's an axolotl axolotl world. It yep. is. That was a really good one. Life yeah. is hard. Yeah. Life is hard. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us a little more about joining Too, it, too Awesome. Yep. Is it too, I want to say it's Too Awesome, but every time I see it, I want to put it together and that doesn't make sense because awesome. it's literally like <laughs> Too Awesome, but that's not, please don't tell them that we, we weren't making fun of them. I love those guys. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Tell us more about joining with them, because I think the first time we talked, um, you were still kind of shopping around and seeing who you wanted to partner with for the game. Hmm. I think last time uh, I already had uh, an, agree uh, an agreement with them, but mm -hmm. they were only publishing. Uh, but after every Steam Festival, uh, I got a promotion, uh, basically. So uh, the game started to blow up more and more, and it did a little bit of a snowball effect. Yeah. And then we started to co-develop, and then they told me, Danny, we should totally do a roguelite. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> okay, that's super fun nice. by me. And so at first you were working on it by yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Can you give like a brief history really quickly, like how that all started again? Because it's like the funniest mm -hmm. story to me. Yeah. Also, uh, bring up your parents, because I loved when you talked about your parents and their reaction to the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the game idea started basically because I was born in Nepal uh, just before the, the pandemic. And... Joking with friends in Discord, mm -hmm. uh, we were just messing around with jokes, and I was thinking like, no one is using an axolotl in any game. Like, I don't know why they they kind of cute and funny. And someone said, you have to give the the axolotl an AK. And I was like, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> There's an AK here. Yeah, 
and from there it kind of snowballed hmm. so i remember you like once you i think you told your dad or your your mom like your mom was kind of happy for you but your dad was just like can you make money from it or something like that i can't remember <laughs> my dad is just, i think my dad is still trying to guess when the game is releasing <laughs> like every time he to him, he's like is the game out and i'm like no <laughs> working on it dad yeah, yeah. Have, have they played it have your parents like sat down and no, like, watched you play so. it no. oh <laughs> <laughs> I want your dad to play the game so much. I like I want him to I just want to see his reaction. A, an apocalyptic event. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think he would react? What do you think he would say? Yeah, uh, he will look uh, very confused and then say um, it looks good and then continue <laughs> to do something else. Probably. Sounds kind of like my dad. I wrote an article for like a game and like um he wanted to see it. So like, I think he read like maybe the first paragraph and then he texted me. He was like, Oh, that's great. Like, um, you know, I don't know anything about games and shit, but, uh, good job. <laughs> so I was like, thanks dad. <laughs> so I'm curious to ask, because like, now that you said like, you know, it started out as a, as an arcade shooter, you know, very cute, very adorable, running around the map, shooting things, picking up weapons and upgrades. You mentioned that two awesome were the ones that like let's switch it over to a roguelite. What was that mm. process like? Like, how did you feel switching it? And like, mm. you know, how did you feel about the change? Uh, I mean, I want to start with the feeling. It was great uh, because at the <laughs> beginning I wanted to do a roguelite because I'm an indie developer, right? Mm -hmm. So, but the thing is, I'm not the smartest in the room. <laughs> so I said, okay, Danny, relax. <laughs> let's do a small, a small game. Uh, chill out. So I started to do the arcade mode and then it was super simple because I'm not a programmer. I'm more of game designer and art. And when they told me, you can have programmers doing the game for you, I was like, yes, <laughs> give me the programmers. Uh, I got very happy and I was like, we should totally do the role. So That's it was a really a easy transition because the game already had a core. So we just need to work on the details and the content. So are you going to have the arcade mode still as just like a different mode in the mm -hmm. game just to kind of rack up high scores with the roguelike kind of being like almost the story mode, quote unquote? Yep. Uh, yeah, the the agreement actually happened uh, one month before the, re the release. So we already <laughs> have the game. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the modes are staying. Now we have a, a hub in the game instead of a main menu. And you can, uh, from there, you can enter the new modes or the, the roguelike. Which is acting more as a campaign. That's so exciting. Yeah, it, it, it was really good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we have a code for the game, Matt. So, like, we need to play the updated one. But we've just been so busy. Like, a lot of life changes for Matt and myself as well since the last time. We're all going to have to sit down sans the, the podcast and talk about, <laughs> like, all the new stuff that's, uh, that's nice. happened. Yeah. But um, one of my questions was, like, I know Matt kind of touched on it, like, how did it feel? But, like, how how is it, like, I think you made the perfect decision for yourself because you said a couple of people approached you. How is it working with, like, a, a team of people who believe in your product so much? Because I think it's still kind mm -hmm. of a little overwhelming for you, but they, they are, like, mm -hmm. in it to win it with your game, which is, I mean, like, duh, because it's such a great game. But, mm -hmm. like, how does that make you feel? It's still weird, as you said. <laughs> Uh, because I, I get to like ask people to do things uh, and those people are so much better than me uh, in game development so it's really good it's really good because I basically uh, work as a, I have good ideas and I have to try to sell them as good ideas <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't need to do that much of development in, in the engine and things like that but uh, having like the support from a from a studio that is already not super prominent, but it's a serious studio with more games in the in the catalog and everything. It's been like a crazy ride. Uh, I'm still not believing uh, the process, but here we are. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's incredible. I'm so proud of you and like congratulations on everything that's like been happening. Like, Thanks. man. The game is going to be bigger. Like, I already thought the game was perfect before. Like, I already had, like, a lot of fun with it. And now to know that, like, it's still changing and evolving is mm -hmm. really cool. And, guys, we're going to put down the Steam info and all of that, mm -hmm. too. And the Kickstarter, because you should definitely 
go check this game out. You should definitely play it. Um, it's so fun. It is. And um, I think one of the things I felt bad about at first was murdering other cute little animals. But listen, <laughs> you get into that game and like you don't give a shit. Like you're just like, you know what, bunny? I'm taking you out. I think there's and that's literally <laughs> what happens. I think there's something about how adorable that axolotl is that you're just like, I want to protect you and help you reach your wishes and dreams yeah. of destroying everything around you. So I feel like yeah. it's just, yeah. the character design is just so on point that you're just in it. You're down. You're you're gonna run with it. I think um I think it's a good mix between cute and super violent. And I think we touched on it a little bit, like what influenced you to uh, make this kind of game. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe you brought up Happy Tree Friends. Yeah, and also Doom. (laughs) So yeah, I like um, cute and like derpy things. I love like those type of drawings, but I also like some Doom in my life. So I said, let's fuse it together, you know? <laughs> I also like some doom and gloom in my life. So yeah, yeah. let's put it in the game. <laughs> so yeah. Especially Go these ahead, last Adam, months, uh, I, I've been taking a lot of inspiration from all the games that I've been able to play and research uh, because mm-hmm. like, I have more of a game designer uh, work now. So I can get to like think and then uh, the things uh, become a reality after i don't know how (laughs) (laughs) Uh, some magic what were some of the games that you've played recently that have kind of helped inspire some of the new stuff in the game Hmm. Uh, we are getting a ton of inspiration from hades which is weird because it's really on the other side of the spectrum (laughs) in the Mm -hmm. low light genre because we don't have story but we are taking a lot of the mechanics from there because i think uh, they are not uh, they are not being used in more of arcade arcade roulette. Mm-hmm. So we are trying to to get away from games like Enter the Gungeon and things like that uh, because like it's getting annoying to get the Enter the Gungeon <laughs> <laughs> comparisons. <laughs> like love the game. Uh, I was just a joke. I love the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are going for a lot for Hades. Uh, we are taking a lot of inspiration also from um, Dead Cells. Uh, or some of the challenges that are not the main objective in the run, but they add like an extra layer. And those pretty much are so Archvale. Uh, I love Archvale. I was following the, the dev blogs and I think those guys are pretty good. <laughs> so <laughs> we took some things from there. So yeah, uh, a bit of everything. That's amazing. Yes. So then tell us also a little bit about... Oh, of course. Yeah, obviously. The big one. <laughs> uh, so tell us a little bit more about the Kickstarter and like some of the scratch goals that you guys have. Like, what are some of the things that you're hoping to accomplish with the Kickstarter? Hmm. I think I saw plushies. Uh, I think I saw plushies. making plushies. But I think that was a leak that is no longer a leak. So I'm not <laughs> just going to say it. There are plushies. <laughs> <laughs> there are plushies? There are plushies. <laughs> I'm in. They are there. And they are really cute. I'm waiting for mine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, what we are trying to accomplish with the Kickstarter is uh, we already have the core of the game. We know it's working. Mm-hmm. So we are trying to improve the team, grow it with new members and add new content so that we have a super fully fledged roguelite, not only mm-hmm. a small roguelite, but like a really com- competitive one. So that and of course, like Kickstarter always helps with the exposition to the internet and mm-hmm. plushies. Like I really wanted a plushie. <laughs> so that's the um, main goal I know that Kickstarter is a great way um, like a lot of people are using it as a marketing tool so I mm. think you're going to do really great because you already have like a really uh, decent sized community and a very active mm. community at that so I know Matt um, mentioned some of the stretch goals and since w- this is not like a spoiler because we're, we're going to put this up the day that the Kickstarter mm. goes live yeah. but um what's out of all of your tiers or kind of like all of your stretch goals what's the one that you're hoping that you reach the most like what's one that you're like I really want to get to this one hmm. the, the thing is um, the stretch goals in theory are a secret until like we reach the funded uh, mm. okay. so, uh, but I will say I would love the hat. Okay. okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Please. All right. Thank yeah. you for giving us that little nugget. You heard it here, folks. It is my one. Daniel would love that. I will appreciate that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get. Well, I'm definitely gonna donate mm-hmm. because I also want the hat. I want and the plushie, the plushie. <laughs> and the hat and the plushie. So then, oh like, my god, I'm so excited about this hat. Like, I'm like, I know. I'm like, what is it gonna look like? <laughs> is it gonna have little hands off of it, with little guns. You know oh my I mean? god, if it had the little things, that would be so cute. Did- what did you say? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> quick notes here. Quick notes. Uh, yeah. So, like, I don't know if you can talk about platforms at all yet. Um, and I'm not sure if that's part of the, mm-hmm. the the stretch goals or anything, but what can you tell us about where people can and will be able to play? Obviously not looking for anything you can't talk about, but like, what can you tell us so mm-hmm. far? Uh, it's been public, I think. Uh, at least I think that <laughs> we are releasing on every console. So uh, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam for now. Nice. Uh, and of course we are doing a Kickstarter and this will be public. So physical goodies and physical edition are coming as well for oh, ps4 fancy. and for switch oh i need God. it for my switch for one of them <laughs> you know what? i gave i gave up on the other one and it's just sitting in a box up at the top now because i just haven't opened it but you know what daniel if you guys reach that and i get a physical i that's when i will open i'll do an unboxing <laughs> of my animal crossing switch just just for the game. And That's what a, a, like a, a good mesh, Animal Crossing and Axel. I was yeah. going to say, what a <laughs> combination. They're both, about, right? they're both about taking advantage of other animals around you. <laughs> Tom Nook. Tom Nook. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Oh my God. I just, guys, if you didn't know it was coming onto other platforms, well, now you know. Yeah. But um, that's kind of incredible because I know that like getting like ports over to different platforms is like it's not an easy task, nope. right? And you're going to be on all of the major ones, so congrats hmm. on that. I don't even have a PS Five yet. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, listen, after you get this game done, you better get one. Yeah, they could probably like give me one for free. You know, like right? Yeah, I know, like. <laughs> Take a note of that. PlayStation, already. PlayStation Canada. I, mean, I know some of you listen. Let's 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 try and uh, connect with PlayStation Europe over there, and let's see what we can figure out. Come on, yeah, come on. Nice. Oh, that is nice. true. That is true. And also, can you connect with PlayStation US too? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. But yeah, I'm really excited to see all the stretch goals reached. I really think you guys are going to blow this out of the water. Mm-hmm. I am going to donate because I want a plushie and i need to figure out what how much i need to donate to get that matt if you haven't seen them um you need to look it up because they're super cute actually you know what we'll throw a picture up so you guys yeah. can see it um and i have to say and then I, that's only the prototype so that's only the, the prototype will be, will be even cooler because they are handmade oh so god. yeah they're handmade yeah. Are oh you... my god, that means there's like super limited edition. Right, I know. I could just no. picture Daniel sitting there <laughs> like making them and then having a cookie and then making another one. Oh my god, like a little old lady doing it. I love it. Oh my god, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh my god. No, okay, guys, if it's handmade, that means like they're probably limited edition. He's not saying that, but I know, right? They're, I mean, they're, they're we can limited. give the lady a lot of work if, if you guys are super <laughs> supportive, you know? Yeah. <laughs> So what have, That's been, me. <laughs> what have been some of like the biggest challenges like before kind of joining Too Awesome? And then since then, mm-hmm. like as you've been kind of, you know, because it sounds like your role has changed. Like you said, you're kind of telling people what to do. How has that mm-hmm. change gone for you as well? Yeah, I mean, the most important change was the routine because before I, I, I was just like working in the game when I was feeling like or when I had the time. Right. You now it's like every, every day, like I sit and I do my job and then... I can forget, let's say. Right. I don't, I don't, but that's the, <laughs> the idea. And that's the first thing. Also, organization. Uh, now, in the studio, we have a producer, so we have to, like, track every task, uh, get used to the GitHub files and the updates of Unity, and uh, you can cannot work with someone in the same thing at the same time, so you have to get a ton of communication and things like that. And it took like a, a couple of weeks to get used, but it's it's fine now. <laughs> it's fine now. Are you liking yeah. it? 
Yeah, like, are you on. liking this new role? Oh, yeah. good. I'm glad. I know it's probably like a, a lot of work just from um, working in, I started working in uh, with a publishing company, which you know, because I talked to you about mm. it. Um, but also like when I worked at, uh, at an indie game uh, dev before, it, it is a lot of work. But I mean, like, I feel like this, I don't want you to take this as like a negative, but like as a compliment. I feel feel like you're more mature now and I don't know yeah. how to explain it <laughs> like you came on here with like your button up and like last time we were just very chill mm. I think I don't know where you were we were talking about cookies and cakes and shit and I mean, now you're like yeah no I'm delegating things and blah boss. blah blah on our kickstarters like it's you're a boss now like it's I mean, incredible I'm not, I'm not really the boss uh I'm just an underling but I do the game design, so I, I get to tell people things. <laughs> to us, you're the well, boss. that makes you somebody's boss. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm a suggestor. I suggest things, and people <laughs> yeah. sometimes do them. <laughs> and... <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, I still eat cookies. Uh, I would you still do eat the that, cookies? Uh, okay. But yeah. I also That's pay the most taxes important now. Thing. So, yeah. Now, uh, now I think he's... that was the, the, the age thing. Yeah, now it's, <laughs> now it's cookies with a pinky up, right? Make sure oh, it's a classy way of eating cookie. Yeah. So has it been difficult, like, letting other people in on, like, the project that you started? Because, like, you know, working by yourself before and kind of running the direction as you mm. wanted to go, how, like, has it been a difficult experience kind of letting people in? Have you been like, oh, my God, finally I have help? Like, how, how mm. have you felt with kind of, like, letting other people in? Because, like, it sounds like there are, you know, other suggestions, other decisions being made as well. How mm. has that whole process been like for you? Uh, a little bit of both, uh, I would say. Uh, mm -hmm. From one part, thank you. Uh, I don't have to animate everything and I don't have to program everything. I can like, you know, like, can you do this to Chill me? And they bit. do it mm -hmm. <laughs> so much better than I would. <laughs> <laughs> and for the other part, sometimes people are like, uh, we have to put this in the game for X reason, like for mm -hmm. example, for the marketing or whatever. And I'm like, oh, that doesn't really match. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the... My bosses now uh, are super uh, cool vibe, so I get a lot of creative uh, freedom and I pretty much do everything I want with the game. So <laughs> it's, bit, it's a, a bit of everything, but uh, in good balance. That's okay, amazing. Okay, that's good. That's mm. really good. So, Matt, I, oh, I thought you were going to ask something else. Yeah, I do. And I, I don't want to catch you I, off. Do, I do have another question locked and loaded because okay. I'm curious. So, like, <laughs> just because, like, you know, especially in the indie space now, we're seeing so many, like, crossovers you know skins of different like shovel knight has been like 800 mm. games like we're seeing so much crossover and like is there any are there any ips that you would love to be like we would love to have the skin mm. in axolotl like is that something that you guys are thinking about again like ndas and stuff i understand but like mm. are there any dream skins for you that you'd be like i'd love to have my little axolotl look like ratchet and clank or whatever like do you have any like dreams like that i mean it will be so fun uh for axolotl to be in a smash uh, that yes. would be such a laugh. Mm. <laughs> uh, but um, I haven't thought about that, honestly. But I, I, I'm open to, to okay. PS teams. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be uh, awesome. I would be glad to, to accept money at the end. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like money, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my question is really random, um, but because I love hoodies, is there like going to be other merch? with Axel other than like whatever the hat is going to be I'm hoping it's like a beanie type hat where like look I'm just saying this out into the universe I hope it's a beanie type hat that kind of looks like an Axel oh. and has those little things okay yeah I, yeah. I think that was a, a misunderstanding because you said the stretch goals so I was uh, say, uh, talking about oh no 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 Be before I meant stretch okay, goals okay. but now I just mean in general are there things that like hmm. I can purchase. Yes. <laughs> yes. I yeah, mean, yeah, it's yeah. life. Like the Kickstarter is life now, so we are mm -hmm. technically in the future. So I can. Yeah, tell you yeah, we're in the future. That yeah. We have a collector editions and T-shirts as well. Amazing! I love a good T-shirt. Listen, when we have you back on, because we will have you back on. <laughs> <I> um, <hope. laughs> yes. No. Absolutely. I will have all of my Axel Auto merch. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have Ready to show the plushie off. on my shoulder, oh, yeah. the shirt on my thing. I'm going to make my own hat. The hoodie. Yeah. I just realized the Baby Yoda, that would be a really cool, cool crossover. Oh, baby Yoda next I Yoda. literally have a Baby Yoda shrine. Yeah. A little I, I just saw that. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's Baby Yoda. Girl, I, you know what? It kills me. I was like, he's so cute. And they were like, what name can we give this adorable creature? And they were like, how about Grogu? Everybody's like, yeah, that's perfect. It is perfect. <laughs> that describes it perfectly. Yeah. No, it's like, such an ugly name. Just keep it Baby Yoda. But yeah, I, mean, I have them there and then I have some It grows on you, I, I think, a little bit. At the beginning, I was I like, think after you Whoa. see him doing like, Grogu mean things. shit you're like yeah he's a little brat that's grogu <laughs> that, that's still the energy <laughs> oh my god if you could have some little axolotls like that like do a funko pop collaboration oh, that would be fun as well that would be dope hmm. he has his little Bobo, machine please. guns yeah yeah <laughs> write it down write all these suggestions <laughs> down i'm serious but um we are like i don't want to run too long because i know that like we all have like a lot of stuff to do but hmm. Other than people following you at Kickstarter, um, where else can they find out more information? Can you talk about your Discord a little bit? Yeah. And awesome. uh, we have the Twitter uh, where we post all the news uh, as well as in the Discord. Uh, in Twitter, we have uh, uh, all the links to the different uh, links. I forgot mm -hmm. the word for that. Uh, social platforms. Yeah, social That's platforms. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we are also trying to post uh, on TikTok as well. Uh, so we are doing. Oh, you guys are on TikTok there. now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you will see me dancing around there because uh, <laughs> I don't know why, actually. But, I've yeah. never seen you. I, I'm dancing all the time. So like, I'm yeah. ready to see you jam. I, I'm dancing there with an actual little onesie, which is. Oh I my think. god. That's. <laughs> That is so amazing. freaking adorable. Yes. You want an axolotl onesie? That's Wait, amazing. where did you get the axolotl onesie? It is was that on, a, on the the Amazon, goals? but after oh, we bought it, uh, it ran out. Uh, it's not on the page anymore. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. People keep asking, Aww. and we are like, sorry. <laughs> we Wait, so you guys it. bought them, and then like they sold out? Only one, yeah. And I think that it was the last one or something. That's it's like, not on the page. Oh, wow. That's perfect. It was meant to be yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, it was meant to be. It's destiny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe you guys should make a onesie. I don't know. I'm just throwing out crazy <laughs> ideas. Do whatever you want. But um, <laughs> I also know that you guys stream sometimes. Yep. So do you do all of your, do you do all your streaming on Twitch? Do you stream on YouTube? Like where, mm -hmm. if people want to see where you stream and if they're not into Discord, where, where yep. would they find you? Uh, uh, in the past, uh, we were streaming by weekly, uh, just uh, one hour or two of development or showing some gameplay with new features or, for example, where, when we announced the Kickstarter and things like that, uh, we mm -hmm. always do a podcast. <laughs> and um, we've been uh, not doing that many because we were working on the secret things for Kickstarter mm -hmm. and things like that. But mm -hmm. in theory, we will be back for action. Uh, from the 1 of June until we run out of juice, I think. <laughs> so we will try to, to spam Twitch a little bit. So you can follow us there. It's us on the Linktree link, link tree as well. Uh, but it's actual hotel game, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> Just go to the link tree. Yeah. Yep. But we are going to post all of his social media platforms down below. I think like that where I see the most information popping other than discord. If you don't have a discord, mm -hmm. Oh my God, my hair is in my face um, is Twitter. And I yep. think you guys have done a great job with like keeping everybody updated on there. So we are going to be streaming the game as well. We just have to lock down a date mm -hmm. that we're going to be streaming it. So guys, if you want to come support us, come watch us play the game. It's really cute. Also, please go and support Daniel. And since we're dropping it, well, we're in the future. Are we in the past? We're in the past, but we're talking about the future we're since we're dropping it today. <laughs> time. Time. Yeah, it's crazy. Please go check out their Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. There is a demo. There is no excuse for you not to check out this game. It is so incredible. And I promise you, when you play the demo, you will want to support them and get a onesie and possibly a hat and possibly a hoodie and possibly a plushie, like all the things that and, might. And, know. and, and when you play the demo, make sure you drop in the comments underneath, make sure you talk about your times because I want to know where everybody's times are at. So then I can get obsessed with the game all over again and try and get the best time because my ego works that way. <laughs> Listen, if, if you, Oh, I kind of want to make this a bet. Like, no, I no, please don't. This will not go well for me. I, I want, 
Matt, we know because there's a bet in the past that you did not complete, I, and I definitely, I you know, I'm gonna think of it. I'm gonna think about it, and we're gonna have a bet for Axolotl probably when we stream mm-hmm. to see if somebody can beat your time. Yeah, like you. And I think uh, that'll that's be actually uh, a kind of competition going on uh, for oh! the influencers and everything. So uh, just letting you know, guys, right? so you maybe oh. can ask uh, to join, and we will probably accept you. Matt and would love to join. Maybe without the maybe. Oh well, yeah. this is, I'm going to go down a. Sh- if I'm he, go if down he a can't, that's slope okay. Here. No, I'm I'm in. But, um, I'm in. I'm going to get really if, good at that if game. If you can have Matt join, that would be great <laughs> because I can think of some very evil things for him to do if he loses. But guys, thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you so much for taking time. Listen, your English was perfect the first time. It's even better now. Yay. Um. Yeah, you're doing a great job. Congratulations on how far you've come. Because mm-hmm. I think it's just been like a year, not even a year. And you're Smaller, just yeah. blown up. Yeah, you're just blown up. So I'd like to thank my co-host, Matt, for being here today and asking some really good questions. That's what I do. And yeah, go support the game, guys. Go support it. We'll have all the links down below. We love you. Thank you for always supporting us. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.